time, I don't have to use my camera to film the TV to record this. Unlike last week. <sighs> Damn internet outage. And hopefully I don't have any issues with my USB. I don't know why it stopped recording during Fight Night Champion, but luckily I was able to finish the recording by starting up a second recording on that. Hopefully I don't have to do that here for MX Unleashed. Hello everyone, Edge Runner Gaming HD, and welcome to another Let's Play of the career mode of MX Unleashed. Alrighty. Seven, that's one of eight, holy crap. Uh, you know what, let's, let's, uh, let's beat the score. A little freestyle. Score to beat is a million. Hopefully we can pull that off here. Hope everyone's having a great day. Great night. Whatever time you're watching this video, of course. At the time of me making this MX Unleashed video, I'm not going to do a discussion video about it. So I figured I'd talk about it here. Um, there's another graduation that's going on from that certain VTuber company that I'd rather not say the official name of. Let's just refer to them as Black Company. There's another graduation happening uh, in about two weeks. Kayo Kanako? I hope I, I, I hope I didn't mispronounce that. He's going to be graduating in two weeks time. I watched his debut when he first debuted over two years ago, and at first he seemed like a really cool dude, like I actually kind of liked the guy at first, and then I found out some things about him that i rather not really talk about here. Let's just say that he, he played a part in Zion Lanza basically getting terminated from Ninja Sanji. He he did some really shady stuff. He's also said some really shady stuff. Um, just recently, I heard that he, apparently he made some really discriminatory remarks towards Asians and African Americans. Like some really racist shit that came out of his mouth. I don't exactly know what he said. I didn't look into it. It's just... From what I heard, it was all over the virtual YouTuber subreddit. Apparently, he said some really racist shit, and I guess he got suspended for it, and now here we are in the month of February, and he's graduating in two weeks. I won't be tuning into his graduation because, number one, I don't like the guy. Number two, like I said, all the shady stuff that he's done and said all the racist shit that he said as well. You know, I used to like the guy until I found out his true colors. Now I just don't want nothing to do with him. The nicest thing I can say is I wish you well. I wish you well wherever you go. He's probably gonna go back to his roommate account, which whatever, I mean, I'm not gonna be fucking watching. I'm not gonna be looking for it either. I don't know his roommate, I don't care to know his roommate. All I'm gonna say is, best of luck to wherever he goes. As long as I don't have to watch... As long as I don't have to watch his content, as long as I don't have to hear his voice, I could care less where he goes. I don't fucking care. 
I just hope he doesn't go to V Show, Joe. I mean, that would be, in my personal opinion, that would be really bad. I don't want to see him in V Show, Joe. He just would be fucking toxic. Plus, the things that he's done and said, I'd rather not see him in an environment like V Show, Joe. If anything, he'll probably go back to his roommate account and his fans will follow him over there. I won't, because, like I said, I don't fucking care about the dude. I cared more about Pamu graduating than him. So, that's why Pamu got a discussion video out of me. Because I care more about her than I do um, the dude that's graduating in two weeks. And as for Pamu... I guess we're just going to have to sit back and wait and see what she does. I don't think she's done v 2 I think she'll be back. I think she'll be back probably as an indie. I keep falling off my fucking bike. She'll probably be back either as an independent VTuber or possibly part of a corpo. If I had to take a guess, most likely be Shoujo. And she belonged to be Shoujo. If she decides to go there, she definitely belongs in that place. Like, they'll, they'll treat her well. At least I hope they do. They'll treat her with love. A lot more love than the place that she was previously in. Also, in terms of positive news, uh, Fuamoko are celebrating their very first birthday in Hololive. Fuawa had her birthday stream last night, and just a few hours ago, Mokoko had her birthday stream. So they did, uh... I should not have done that stunt there. They did separate birthday streams. One last night, and then the other one earlier today. Of course, they announced birthday, birthday merch, which unfortunately I don't have the money to get. I really do need to get Hololive merchandise. Like, I call myself a big Hololive fan, but I don't own any merchandise from the company. I literally have nothing Hololive related in my room. Nothing. I mean, unless you want to say the streams and the, or the videos and the clips when I put them on my TV, I guess that's technic. I, no. Actually, no. I have to actually own, like, a legit piece of merch. And I don't have any piece of merchandise from Hololive. I don't have any piece of merch from any VTuber, period. Number one, because it's too expensive. Number two, because it requires credit card or debit card. And I don't... Me personally, I don't really believe in credit cards or debit cards. I don't use them. I don't have any. I've dealt with them before in the past. They're nothing but a headache. I'd rather just pay things with cold hard cash. And plus, I'm unemployed. I don't work. I don't have a job. So I don't have any way of, uh, of getting said merch. If I could, trust me, if I could, I would. I would love to get Fuomoko's merchandise. And, by the way, I'm not asking anybody to buy it for me. That's not what I'm intending. That's not what I'm implying here. I'm just saying that I... I wish I could have the merch. It'd be cool. I'm not asking anybody to buy it for me. I don't want to seem to come off like a fucking D-beggar or anything. All I'm, all I'm saying is that, you know, if I had the funds and stuff, if I had the money, if I could buy it with, like, actual cash, like, if it was, like, a merchandise shop, if there was, like, a shop near me that sold Hololive merchandise where I could buy it in store with cash, I would do it if I had the money. But, unfortunately, there's not a shop near me and I don't have the money. So, that's that. Still, nonetheless, happy birthday to the both of them. And I hope that they're going to be around next year for their second birthday stream. 
uh, second year of birthday stream, that is. I hope they'll be around next year. Did I stop crashing the bike? Feels good to play this game again without having to focus the phone on the TV. I had no choice. I mean, I had to get MX Unleashed up last week. I could have waited, but I decided, fuck it, I'll just record it with my camera, and the quality was not good at all, but I got it up on the channel, that's what matters. Can I stop falling off my fucking bike? I'm about to, I'm seriously about ready to start doing some racing. Because I'm going to be honest, grinding up to a million points is going to, you know what, yeah, it's going to take forever. I'll probably do this near like the very freaking end. One last thing about the Keo guy, if anybody is insulted by what I said, I'm sorry. That's just my opinion. That's just how I feel. If you don't like what I said there, sorry. I'm not the only one that shares that opinion. There's a lot of people that share the same opinion that I do, that they don't like the dude. I personally don't really like the guy. I think he's an asshole and I think he can be a bit of a dick. I mean, hell, I can be a bit of an asshole, and I can be a bit of a dick at times, too, but, you know, I try not to be to the extent that he is, like, huh, enough about him. I, I just wish him the best of luck. That's the nicest thing I'll say. I wish him the best of luck. Won't be tuning into his graduation because I don't give a fuck. To his fans, sorry that you're losing your Oshi. Go follow him on his roommate account. I'm pretty sure he'll be back sometime before the year is out. He'll probably be back on his roommate account by freaking summertime. Anyways, let's go to 125cc Pro National Series. We're in Pine Bluff. Ooh, winter weather. Oh boy, winter weather indeed. It snowed here at the very beginning of the month, but so far it's actually been warming up outside. I don't think we're going to be seeing any more snow unless we get like a major cold front coming through. I think all the snow is pretty much... I think our chances of getting more snow is pretty much over now at this point. I think it's... I think springtime is here and it's here to stay. At least until summertime comes around, of course. Because just today, it felt like it was 70 degrees outside. Perfectly sunny. Like, I didn't even wear my jacket. Usually I wear my jacket because it's pretty chilly outside. I didn't even wear my jacket outside today. It's so warm. It was so warm outside today. Which, you know, I don't expect that type of weather in January. I expect that weather around, like, March or early April. Not late January, but hey, you know, if the weather's warming up, that's good. Don't have to worry about freezing my balls off for another snowstorm. These are some big jumps. Ah, shit. Big jumps indeed. It sucks not having music playing anymore, but if it means I can get these videos up without having my video copyright blocked worldwide, so be it. I'll still, um, 
I'm still listening to the soundtrack of this game, you know, if I ever play this game, you know, when, I, when I'm done with the career mode, if I ever come back and play this game, I'll turn the music back on and listen to it again. I just can't listen to it while I'm recording, otherwise I'm going to get copyright claims up the ass. You know, if it gets blocked in like one country or two countries or three countries, fine, understandable. You know, I'm not going to make that much of a fuss over it. But when it gets blocked worldwide to where nobody can see it, that's a major issue for me. Just like me going off track is a major issue. I almost hit a poor snowman down there. Frosty the snowman! I cannot finish 8th place here. That will not help me in the point standings. I want to win all the championships in this game. Stuff like that's just gonna fuck me over. Oh my god, come on. Fuck you. I swear, if I finish last, that's gonna impact me. Winning the championship. I'm gonna have to win literally the last two races to even come close to winning the title. The leader is so far ahead. Take me a miracle to catch up to the leader.
have to do this whole damn thing all over again. Just like that. That's gonna fuck me out. That's gonna fuck me out of the championship. I'm gonna literally have to win the last two races. Or I'm, or have to do this all over again. I wanna win every championship in this game. I don't want to win every single race, I just want to win each championship, so I can say I beat the game. I can't do that when I keep knocking myself off my damn bike! Oh yes, because I want to finish 7th fucking position. Thanks, game. Really fucking appreciate it. Yeah, I'm going to have to win the last two fucking races to win the game championship at this point. Take it. You didn't use the clutch. Whatever. Right. It's a tie for first in the point standing. Oh dear. gonna be raining. Yeah. Oh boy.
That don't fucking help me at all. That does not help at all. I'm probably gonna lose the championship, but I'm gonna have to redo this whole damn thing all over again. Yay! I can feel myself getting tired too, so as soon as I get done with this video, I'm going to bed. I got a feeling I'm gonna have to redo this whole damn tournament all over again just to win the fucking championship. I'm gonna fall so I'm gonna fall so far behind the point that even if I win the next race, it's not gonna be enough. Damn it, my back was getting
lovely! Great! I would love to finish in sixth place and lose the fucking championship. That's lovely. Thanks, game. Or last, that that would be even better. fucking championship away from me at this point. I, I don't even fucking care. There's gotta be a fucking way to, like, redo the whole damn tournament and not have to do the final race. Because I know even if I win the final race, I'm not winning the fucking championship. If I finish in last and I win the next race, even if I lead every fucking lap and everything, I'm not winning the championship. I'm just gonna call it a night after this race. If I lose the championship next race, oh well. Have to redo this all over again. I'm not tired because of the game, I'm just tired. Eyes are getting bad because I need to get some sleep. I would do the final race of this tournament, but it would take forever to do it, so. Finish last, lose the championship, uh, whatever. What's the point of even doing the final race if I finish last here? I'm not winning the championship if I finish last. I lost the championship. Oh well. It was a nice effort. Nice try. Mission failed. We'll get him next time.
Hell, I'd rather be playing fucking Call of Duty 2 over this shit. championship. There goes the fucking championship. I don't give a shit about the clutch warning! Yep. There goes the fucking championship. Fuck it. I'll restart this race next time. I'm not gonna even fucking bother doing it right now. I'm not gonna even bother redoing it right now. I just need to get some sleep. Thank you all so much for watching. Edge Runner Gaming HD signing out. Peace, stay safe, have a great rest of the day or night. I'm so glad that this is a weekly thing because this game is doing a weekly occurrence and pissing me the fuck off. So, bye everyone.